Alright, so it's no little known fact that it's very hard to get nice looking renders, especially when using OBS. Well, never fear, because I'm here. And today, I'm going to be showing you the best settings in OBS and Technos Blur so you can get very smooth videos just like this. <laughs> Alright, so how do we achieve this? Okay, so firstly, in terms of OBS settings, you should be met with something like this. I recommend enabling stats so you can see if you're dropping any frames. You want this number to be as low as possible, and that's what I've got. So, then you go into settings, output, recording, make sure. Since I'm recording right now, I can't really change settings, but you basically want to copy this. Set your recording format to MP4, video encoder to your NVIDIA GPU if you have one, make sure you use HEVC as it gives less lag. Encoder settings, you want to be looking at something around 50,000 kilobits per second. I prefer CBR bitrate. And then we just tune this to be all low latency. Make sure your profile is set to main and don't touch these settings unless you know what you're doing. Okay, video output. Base canvas resolution should be set to the resolution of your monitor or the resolution that your system is running. So that is 1440p for me. This is what you want your video to come out. So that's 1080p. Make sure you set this to bilinear, fractional FPS values, and then 240. If you're getting an encoding overload, you should go lower than this. You can set up hotkeys if you want. I like to do F7 is start recording, and we'll also set F7 to stop recording. So it's just a simple key that you can toggle. Process priority should be high. Don't really touch any of these other settings. You can touch your file formatting if you want to. And that's basically it for OBS settings. You can just tweak these around as you like, basically. Okay, so now moving on to how we get this crispy, nice motion blur. All right, so the software is called Technos Blur. When you open it up, it will say, waiting for input, drag a video onto this window. If you're opening it for the first time, it will say generating config files. So what you need to do is go into your videos folder, your OBS videos folder or wherever it was. And you need to open this as a TXT file. And you will see all of this. Um, I will leave my settings in the description. This is what will give you the best blur, but you can tweak this. It's very, very adjustable. But this is basically the blur settings. And um, you feed it your clips a couple of minutes to a couple of hours. It vomits out the same clip, but in a higher quality and with motion blur. So that's basically how it's done. <laughs> 